the Steelers are currently set up in pro set formation. This is probably the most widely used and well known offensive formation in gridiron football. It's used at all levels of play from prep to collegiate to professional level. And the reason for this is that pro set is equally suited for run plays or pass plays. Now here's how you build it. As with all offensive plays, you're going to have the center over the ball flanked by two offensive guards. And on either side of the guard, you're going to have offensive tackles. I remember this by T G C G T. Um, the quarterback lines up either directly under center or in shotgun behind him. And uh, behind the quarterback, you're going to have on either side of him two running backs, usually a halfback and a fullback. Uh, another name for the pro set formation is the split backs formation for this reason. You have two running backs split uh, behind the quarterback. Now, at either end of the line of scrimmage, you're going to have a wide receiver. And you're either going to have a tight end or a slot receiver, but normally it's going to be a tight end who can serve either as a blocker if the uh, wide receiver beside him is in split in form, or if the wide out drops back into flanker position, this wide, the tight end can serve as uh, an eligible receiver and he can legally catch downfield passes. Now, during the audible phase, it's incredibly common for the tight end to run to motion behind the quarterback here and line up on the other side here, uh, drawing his assigned defender with him usually. But again, if he's going to be an eligible receiver, the split end, the wide receiver serving as a split end here, has to drop back into flanker to facilitate that. Now, as stated before, the quarterback can either take the snap directly under center, usually has his base reversed, or he can stand back and shotgun. Regardless, uh, the quarterback has several options here. He has three potential eligible receivers that are in position to run downfield and, and try to get open and catch a pass. He also has two running backs behind him here that he can either hand off or pitch the ball to for an, either a dive player, off tackle, or even a toss sweep for an end run. Try to try to swing around the defenders on the line of scrimmage and gain positive yardage. Um, or he can keep the ball himself and try to make a play. The cool thing about this formation is it's hard for the defense to know what's coming until uh, the play develops. This is the formation I would recommend to anyone new to the EFHL rule set or to electric football or indeed to gridiron football. You cannot go wrong with this uh, formation, which is why it's so common. So there you go, the pro set formation, a.k.a. split backs formation. Thanks for watching.